Music in Minecraft has always played an integral part of the lore, from the creepers that the discs hide within, to the mysterious sounds of the credits, all the way down to the horrors of disc 5. There has always been so much for us to explore and uncover. And now, as part of Minecraft 1.21, we've been introduced to three new music discs. First, we have Creator. This music disc is comprised of an oxidized copper case and a golden core. It is found rarely as a reward from the ominous vaults. This disc has a runtime of 2 minutes and 53 seconds. It also has an output of 12 from comparators. Next up, we have Creator Music Box. This music disc is comprised of a regular copper case and a golden core, and it is found rarely within the decorated pots within the trial chambers. This disc has a runtime of 1 minute and 12 seconds. It also has an output of 11 from comparators. And finally we have Precipice. This music disc is comprised of a stone casing and has both oxidized copper and regular copper for engravings and the core. This music disc is found rarely as a reward from the standard vaults. Also, it has an output of 13 from the comparators. Now, on the surface, it might seem as if these three music discs just have absolutely no connection to one another. However, I just don't believe that that's the case. As these discs if arranged by redstone power in ascending order, well, they form a coherent pattern. The regular copper discs fix next to the regular copper part of the second disc, Precipice. And after that, the oxidized copper disc also fits perfectly with the oxidized copper side of the disc as well. Also, the fact that there is an orderly descending pattern of redstone powers, and they are the only discs that are found within the trial chambers. In fact, these discs only exist within the trial chambers. Well, to me at least, just hints that they must have some sort of connection to one another, just like the connection you should have to the subscribe button. It just has to be that way. There's no way that this is all just a coincidence. And I believe that the connection between these three discs is a story being told. Now, that might sound crazy, and it is a bit ambiguous, but I definitely think that there is something there. Just listen to these three new music discs in redstone powered order, and I think you might see it too. So, here's what I believe that story could be. It all starts out with the first music disc, Creator Music Box. This disc starts off with a music box being wound up, representing the desire of the creator to retell their story right from the very beginning. And immediately afterwards, we are met with a sad set of chiming musical tunes. I believe this to probably represent the struggles of a lost being, wandering through an unknown land. And as the disc progresses, the hopeless tones of the disc intensifies. That being is getting further lost and further isolated. They know things aren't going well. And in fact, they are only getting worse. The feeling of isolation and impending doom is only intensifying. But then, right at the end of the disc, there is this odd mood shift, as we are met with a different, yet also somewhat sad chimes. And so I think that this is the point where all hope is just about gone for that being. They just know that they are doomed. And so they do one final act to attempt to save themselves. And I think that this would likely be that entity, whoever they are, entering a cave. And I'll explain why it is that I think that they entered a cave later in the video. And so begins the second disc, otherwise known as Creator. Now this disc holds the events that occurred just after the first one, right as that entity was wandering through the caves. And as such it begins with a similar sad set of beats, as the last flicker of hopes within that being were dying out. As they head deeper into that cave, the tones get slower and more drawn out, and now it's all over. When they see it, hope. They found a structure, and so they were filled with a sense of excitement and hope. The entity ran over to that structure, and he entered it. For this was the trial chambers. And then, he began to explore. By this point, the music disc is rather upbeat, representing how the creature felt joy and relief at the sight of the chamber. They knew that they were going to survive now, thanks to this chamber, as it offered them safety and food after a very long time alone in the darkness. Back when the being was starving, and on the brink of death, 
And so as the disc progresses, the turns get quicker and more excited. As the being explores more of the chambers, they were amazed by everything they saw here. The architecture was just amazing. And as the entity wandered through the chambers, the disc remains upbeat. The entire structure was fascinating, and they were just so grateful. And once again, the sense of relief that the being felt, that he just couldn't stop himself from being happy. He was so grateful. This chamber was the only reason that he was alive right now. And that feeling of joy was shown in the continuation of the upbeat tones within that music disc. But then as this music disc draws to a close, there is a slow shift in tone. As the music slows down, we will revert back to that music box winding effect. I believe this to be that being finding their way into a trial room, and the winding of the music box shows how the next great phase of their story was about to begin. And so right at the end when there is this final chime, I think that represents the entity coming face to face with the monsters of the trial chambers, as the trial spawners were active now. Rather quickly they realised that once again, they were doomed. And so concludes the second disc. The entity was standing before the monsters. He knew he couldn't run. His life has been building for this great moment, but now he was going to be defeated. And he was going to die here. No one would remember him or his life story. It was all going to be forgotten, and no one would care. That sounds sad, and in a way it really was. But also knowing that effectively nothing mattered right now also motivated that being. He felt this innate urge to prove himself, to make this all matter. And so the final disc begins, Precipice. Straight away there was a massive shift in mood, the being was always doomed. But now on the precipice of death, he was going to prove himself. He might as well take to the challenge and make the most of it. The entity was excited now. If this was how he was going to die, then so be it. But he wasn't going to go down easily. He had made it this far, and now he was filled with adrenaline and a new purpose. And so, the battle commenced. That being fought off all the monsters that arose from the trial spawners, it was an intense battle. The monsters were strong, and they wielded mighty weapons. But the entity never gave up. He was resilient and determined. His new purpose of ensuring that he was never forgotten and that his story would be told for generations was enough motivation for him to push forward and fight. And eventually, he won that trial. And so, he claimed the great rewards and felt exhilarated. He had done it. He had succeeded. But there were still so many trial rooms within that chamber. But, wait, he could defeat them too, he thought. And so he ventured into the next room, his head held high, and his blood flowing with adrenaline and excitement, and even the subscribe button was coursing through him. He could do this. And so the next battle commenced. The monsters were fierce, but the entity was brave and determined, and so he fought valiantly. And once again, he won the trial. So just like last time, he claimed his rewards, and ventured to the next trial. And so began the great cycle of trial victories, that were repeated many times over. And with each win the entity felt more excited, and confident. He was actually doing it, he was taking up the challenge, and he was winning. Things were really going well. Represented in the upbeat nature of that disc, everything was great. And the disc of precipice ends on a high note, demonstrating the fact that this great tale ended as a success. So what happened after the events of the disc occurred? Well, I believe that that entity, whoever they were, knew that after a very long time and many great successes within the chamber, that they were eventually going to die. But they also knew that they just didn't have the strength to return to the surface and retrace their steps home. It's the only way possible that they could have gotten here in the first place, down to this chamber, was via a cave. As the chambers were deep in the underground, and so that only added to the danger of returning home. Escapes were truly terrifying places, and he had only foolishly entered one because all else had failed, and he did think that he was doomed by the time he entered it. But never again did he intend to return to such a perilous location. No, he was going to stay here, within the chambers, for the rest of his life. And thus, he knew that he would die here, and so his story was going to be lost forever, as by that time... He had never told the story to anyone else. No, he couldn't let that happen, he couldn't let this story die. And so using the materials around him, he created a representation of his story, this being those three music discs. It wasn't perfect, but it was the best he could do. 
At least now the tale of his great adventures would last beyond him. And so to ensure that the next adventurer who entered this chamber would actually find his music disc and could listen to it, he needed to place the discs in strategic locations. So he sought greater music box, the first disc within the decorated pot. He hoped that whoever the next adventurer is who enters this chamber would be careless enough to break the pot and find the disc. Next, he stored music disc creator within an ominous vault. He hoped the great importance of the ominous vaults would signal to the next adventurer the importance of this disc. And then finally he stored the lost disc, Precipice, within a standard vault. It was something that he hoped any adventurer would easily be able to obtain. And so with his legacy preserved, the lost entity finally allowed himself to be consumed by the shadows. Gone. For the rest of eternity. But wait. The trial chambers are magical places, and so they absorb the music discs, and due to the great curse of the chambers, a change in one affects all others. So those music discs representing his story were transported across the world into all chambers. And so today, anyone who enters a trial chamber has a small chance to find just a fragment of the lost entity stories, as those discs are all over the world. And so if those adventurers so wish, they can listen back to its great legacy. So, that's my theory on the discs. Let me know yours in the comments. But wait, before you do that, there is one additional detail that I must mention. It's very important. Why was that entity lost in the first place? Well, I think I might have the answer to that, as I believe that entity was likely a villager, lost in a dark forest, far from his home. He was scared, because he was never meant to be in that forest because that forest had been boarded up. There was a great threat lurking within these lands, and no villager was meant to be there. But to learn about that, you'll need to watch this video.